maybe we can, uh, of course, answer some of your questions. Let me just a little pause and then continue if you agree. If we have any questions for okay, this questions. first. Or for this first, yes, please. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> how do you see as a challenge of, of the uh, fact that the, the pace for updating and managing the uh, educational index of, of this uh, video learning because it's, everything is developing in so fast pace and um, that means that you should be very active in, in updating and upgrading the index of, of the uh, learning methods and, and processes how, how demanding will be I think the effort should be from the educational institutions. So that's where we have to make uh, motivating teachers, giving them information, helping them to, to update the, the school and all the, these tools for teaching and learning. I don't see any other. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> because it, it's, it's quite, it's quite difficult. It's, it's challenging because if you are uh, proposing to some teachers that they should be doing this and this, Yes, we would, but we do not have time for that. Yeah. So, so the uh, <coughs> time <coughs> is a factor that we are investigating all the time in our job. I mean, how, how to invent such uh, technologies that would uh, spare the time from the teachers to do manual work and, and uh, one thing is, is that the uh, way connecting the artificial intelligence, for example, to the uh, video systems and recording and analy analyzing systems is, is one method that we want to make sure in invent for the future. education or vocational education, more things that takes the student and the teacher to the authentic or simulated environments, it's, it's from our point of view, it's a trend. That we, we need te technology for that, we need software for that, and we need uh, innovative processes to test them. And also what we need is the fluent pedagogical model. Because you can have all the fancy gadgets, but if you don't have the pedagog pedagogical models, then you are having nothing. That's why I work with both. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and, and to some extent, the, uh, our aim is because the uh, current uh, development seems to be so that the, uh, the students and the teachers are physically going further and further from each other and, and uh, somehow we should uh, make this development opposite that we find the ways to get them back together yeah. not, not physically but, yeah, but is even, 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 even the feeling that you are close to each other is, is uh, you can use technology for that yeah Published uh, study which is, is going on in, in, in one partner group and we are involved. Uh, the interview of, of 25 uh, teachers from the universities of applied sciences in Finland showed it, it, it focused on the uh, learning which takes place together with the, with the working life, different kind of uh, processes, different kind of events, and, and, and pedagogical things. It showed that, that actually there are a lot of things going on, but they are very practical things. And the pedagogy is missing. Exactly what Jukka said, that there's lack of, of pedagogical models, so to say, and the teach, or if there is some or one, teachers cannot verbalize it. They don't know what that is. 
and, and I'm, I'm thinking that, that can we really do this, that in, in our project? Or should we take something and, and formulate it, revise it, some exist, existing model? Or, or how, how you see it? Uh, I, can, I can talk about the experimentations in the first phase. Mm -hmm. Most of them are not very far from what, what we have here. They are not completely innovate, innovative. Mm -hmm. They follow the, the trend of observing, analyzing, reflections, and feedback. So I can see uh, uh, until now uh, uh, innovative ways of, of uh, uh, facing the, the problem in, in a certain perspective. Uh, but I, I think we can extend what, what we have begun and make a new step. That's I, uh, why I saw the first phase of the experimentation. That's something we want to try. But of course, we don't try uh, anything completely new in, in the first. So you are going to make a step, and then I hope and I think you can do that, make a, a new step forward. That's what I, the, the way I see the, the things. I don't know. I, well, I think that we, that the experiments we have, but maybe not, that you can tell what your experience is as a teacher, mm -hmm. working with new technology and what, what it did with you and with the students and also with the co colleagues, because what, what we discovered is actually, well, maybe you can tell. Mm -hmm. Well, we did two experiments, and my first experiment was much bigger than that, but the second one, um, the first one I started really in the early beginning, but it has uh, a few aspects of of professional uh, identity. First, I took my role as an experimenter to try to, 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 to know all about the technical things about the system. But then I had to think about, well, which kind of implementation I will, will, will take because uh, the pedagogical uh, model behind it is more like collaborative. So how can I arrange that, that it will be more collaborative? And um, well, then I thought about um, what to change uh, from the normal point of view, how I did things. And in the beginning I did uh, some portfolio discussions with students, but morely it was one-to-one. -one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, 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 at, and at the end I was thinking, well, they have to think about things they're doing, so they have to discuss for themselves. So they have to get the literature to it instead of uh, just talking about their experiences. So they have to make the, the uh, connection to the literature. That should be stronger than my old uh, right. education because I always told the literature and then they, uh, yeah, well they... You changed it. Yes, I changed that. So that was more better because they, they looked at the experience of the of the, of the students, they already had the literature and the, 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 the pieces of the content everywhere, but now they have to think it over again to their own experiences. So it was a, like a real double look reflection now. And uh, that was a different thing than before. And, and did it bring, uh, what did it do with the relationship between the teacher and, and you as a teacher and, and the students? Did it yeah. bring you well, closer to each other or just? <coughs> yeah. Well, it was much closer because um, they reflected on their own uh, experiences, on their own uh, environment. So their school was the middle of uh, of the center of how you uh, um, how you educate, how you are as a person, as a teacher, uh, what your pupils are. You can see them on the videos. So they were discussing with each other about their own experiences. So I was more like a process coordinator instead of, I was asking all the questions. So they were talking about that and they, they said, well, what kind of aspects of good teaching are you seeing here? And they were talking together more than I was every time asking. And that was the reflection. 
So it was much deeper, I thought. And they got more understanding of their uh, specific contexts. And, and, and the interesting thing is that by doing those three experiments, we have now already two or three other teachers coming to us that they want to do something with video. Yeah. So it's actually a kind of uh, grassroots, mm -hmm. which is becoming a bit bigger. And I think the, the things we are doing in this project helps helps to get this kind of new technology in, in the teacher education. If you got it in the teacher education, then the students' teachers also will think, hey, this can I, I can use this in my teaching, in, in my own educational practices too. So it's a long process, of course, but, um, and at the same time, we also had problems with, um, with the standard curriculum, because NADA did something new for the assessment and we got a remark from the examination committee that it was not allowed. <laughs> so we were, in, at the end we were confronted with some big problems actually. We could solve that, but there you see that it's indeed, it's of course, it's difficult in the, in, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, in this, uh, in every situation to do new things. But I think the, the best way is to, just to do them and then, things get on, on the roll. But it's of course better if we can take from what really helps and what really works. And, um, and that I think is one of the things we can talk about during those days, yeah. which can help to get an answer to your question. Uh, did, did you feel any kind of uh, resistance towards the new technology? particular on um, how uh, they want to use it and if it's not working the first time, they're off. That's really hard and you really have to convince them to try it again. Mm -hmm. Talk about the yeah. 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 What, 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 what about our teachers? Yeah, I was yeah. more or less meaning the teachers. Yeah, but also the teachers, yeah. just for both groups and I also discovered that the teachers who were using it that they really needed somebody who was there if there is a problem or they didn't understand something that they could ask you immediately, can you help me or it doesn't work or those questions and if you were, so this was really, uh, we have to think about that, how we will solve this with the teachers that you really, um, that you can help them when they have questions or. Um, uh, it's also like the, one of the first slides of Jose. I started really early with that Visto before I started the experiment and I had hours, hours trying to <laughs> connect to why didn't things work and why, what was the, 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 uh, the ICT things I had to do for making it work and I'm not technological uh, equipped so <laughs> it's terrible for me to do new things but I try to because I think I have to as to be as a role model uh, myself. And luckily I'm having an husband at home who's very ICT minded, so he <laughs> could help me. But it's of course, um, you have to do it in your professional environment with, with the people who know that. But my yeah, ICT Mark is very uh, corroborative, but he doesn't really uh, do that. So he was every time thinking, I don't know why it doesn't work. And uh, eventually Rick, Rick yes, yeah. Yeah. but eventually <coughs> Rick came along to the project, luckily me, because um, when I started the second experiment, my student didn't know how it worked. And I was thinking, oh, okay, but this was a smaller experiment for four times only. So I had to, they had to do it right away, but they couldn't get started. And luckily you came along and you said, well, you have to make this film smaller and you have to cut them like this way and you have to put it in like that. And oh, that was really good because then it started. It's really convenient. Yes. But when there are no technological issues, I discovered yeah. that they really, the teachers, I, I work together with two other teachers, one other teacher, and he's really enthusiastic to um, think about how he should um, use techni technological things in his lessons. And, and he was also really happy, for example, he had a kind of a way of how to reflect on the videos. And he told me like, oh, finally, I can do it again. Or, oh, finally, we did this five years ago as well, but it didn't work out, but now I can use this. So this view of the science. Uh, one of the very uh, principles is technology has to work. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't work, it is frustrating for the teachers, 
it's frustrating for students and probably they accept it one or two times but then if, if it's not working it costs you a lot of energy to, to mm. get them and bring them back and, and that's one thing and of course having good easy instruction for teachers but also for students I think that's one two principles which are very very important of getting technology into the schools that teachers want so it has to be very low threshold uh, technology that is easy to use mm -hmm. very user, yeah, very user friendly I think that that's one very important design principle for those kind of environments <coughs> because a lot of high tech support is not available in the schools as you hear it it's because he's coming along or because my husband knows a lot about it. But if you don't have that, yeah, teachers I stop. I would have stopped. But well, I think the support Arch Connect uh, has, it works uh, work very good. You can just ask them questions, also in the evening when I'm not there. And I think she did it. So it really works out for them. I just wanted to ask yeah. on that question. Um, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, we have been working with introducing our system into schools for the purpose of um, improving the professional development for about 10 years now and we have developed different approaches over the years based on the feedback that we're receiving and with the experiments where um, Iris Connect is used I have also tried to implement that so that it's really important I think there are several um, key things obviously the technology has to be in the first place designed to be uh, easy to use but um, there has to be first of all a common objective and understanding why are we using this what, what are we doing it why are we using it and to provide the necessary level of training in advance and that is something that we discover that varies there are some people who are more technically minded and they don't need that much, some do, and obviously the ongoing technical support to be available is also very, very important. But um, you know, that kind of understanding um, that it has to be tailored, so we have to kind of work with, um, with where they are, to meet them where they are. And sometimes at the beginning we started with just technical training, and that didn't work for everybody because okay they know now how to use the camera so what do you do with it and, and okay i have reflected on it and looked at it but you know so this is where from our perspective we need to have the model about and, and to help you know what we are actually going to be achieving but obviously the technology has to be there and the support has to be there i completely agree